You don't know the power of the dark side. What's going on guys? Back here with another video. Something that is always crossing my mind as a collector is you have so many different brands of collecting. And by that I mean you have action figures, you have Funko Pops, you have the premium top of the line hot toys and premium format statues. I mean, you name it. There are all kinds of different ways to collect. And a question that often comes to mind is, do you collect everything? Do you pick a line and stick with it? Do you pick a certain character or timeline or era and stick with that? You know, there's a lot of questions to be asked, especially if you're new to collecting. What fits your budget? What fits the space available for the things that you like? And I think those are all questions that you have to ask yourself before getting into something like this. Me personally, I, I kind of collect a smorgasbord of things. I have a lot of Funko Pops, probably more than I really want. I have some vintage collection figures, a couple Black Series figures, but personally, I don't really find the appeal to them. I have some Lego sets, which I hear lately, I really... I like Lego and the past year or so I've been interested in it. It's just the price is one thing. Lego is a premium product and it can very well be hard to justify some of the prices of things. Pretty much unless I find it on sale, I'm not going to buy a Lego set unless I'm just crazy about it. I'm really waiting for the ghost to go on sale if it ever does on Amazon because that's like one of the Ahsoka sets I'm dying to get. Other than that, there's really nothing on shelves that I want at sticker price. Like I said, if I find something that's marked down 20, 30%, by all means. I paid full price for these two clone sets, but not for the Luke Skywalker set. I've got the Justifier over here, and I bought that for 50% off. Paid full price for the Executor, but I just had to have it. I thought it was awesome. Trust me, if I had $650 and the space for it, I'd be buying that vinegar all day, but it's just unpractical. I digress. There are a lot of things you could collect and a lot of things you get into, especially when it comes to Star Wars and other, other things. You don't have to collect 100% Star Wars. I mean, this could appeal to anybody. I have probably about 99% of my Funko Pops are Star Wars, but I have a few Jurassic Park, a few King Kong, Godzilla. So not everything is, you know, 100% Star Wars. But... One thing that often cr crosses my mind is, do I just drop the, you know, having your hand and everything at once and focus on one thing? Because here lately I've been focusing on Hot Toys figures and yeah, they're almost unjustifiably expensive for most people. But I feel like if you budget yourself and don't try to buy up everything at once, it's really not that much different than buying a couple things here and there. For the most part, I spend easily 100 to $150 a month on toys or junk or stuff I don't need. So the way I look at it, if I buy a Hot Toys figure every two months, it's pretty much the same. But I have to make sure I catch myself and don't buy Hot Toys figures. And then, oh yeah, I've got you know this half of this payment coming out this month and in two weeks the other half comes out or whatever. Well, you can catch yourself buying something and it ends up adding more to adding up to more than what you plan on buying. My advice to those that are new at collecting, whether it be Funko Pop, Vintage Collection, Black Series, Lego, Hot Toys, whatever niche. I mean, I collect books too, obviously, as you see. Whatever it may be, collect what you like. When it comes to Funko, especially Funko, they make a shit ton of pops that nobody is going to buy. And I know I'm being like cynical and negative when I say that, but we don't need eight, nine, ten Grogu's in different poses. We don't need 16 different Mandos with slightly different armor. I think that would explain why they threw away, what is it, $30 million worth of product because they just make too much random shit. I don't know what they charge or what, what it costs to make one of these figures. I mean... Since I've been into Funko Pops, the price has been pretty consistent. $12 to $13 for the normal figures and $15 for the exclusives. And that, I think that's fair. That's justifiable. I quit buying vintage collection figures because I went to scan one and it rang up at almost $20 for a three and three quarter inch figure. Yeah, that's 
kind of ridiculous to say when I pay 250 for a 12 inch figure, but I mean, if I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of, I'm not going to give you my money. Now, mind you, if it's a super cool figure, I'll buy it. You know, if it's somebody I really like, I'll buy it. But the same can be said for Black Series. But to wrap things up, whether you collect Funko Pops, PVC Vintage Collection, Black Series, Lego, Hot Toys, what have you, I think you should just pretty much stick to the budget that you have in mind, think about the space that you have available, and just try to think about whether you really need or want that figure. Because I know, especially when it comes to the cheaper, cheaper lines, it's real easy to spend 15, 20 bucks, not even think about it, you know? And then at the end of the day, do you really care about that character? Do you really care about that figure? And that's one thing that I've definitely been thinking about when it comes to Hot Toys, is someone that I watch on YouTube, they came up sort of with this tier system where your tier one characters are your, are your favorites. So your Luke Skywalkers, your Anakin Skywalkers, whatever that may be. And those are pretty much the ones you want to go after first. You don't really want to be buying tier two, tier three characters, unless you can afford it, unless you can afford the space for it. You know, that's, that's on you. Me personally, you know, I'm going to buy what's available on Sideshow. You don't want to collect backwards because then you're paying sometimes double or triple sticker price for them. And I'm only going to collect the characters in which I really, really love. So that's kind of my way of looking at it. You may be different. I envy those that have a whole room full of Detoffs and Maja cases full of six scale figures. I think it's beautiful. I think it's, you know, one of the coolest, coolest collection videos to watch. But everybody's different, you know. Some people can't afford that. Some people don't have the space for it. It's just not practical for others. At the end of the day, if it makes you happy and you enjoy collecting, by all means do it because there's a hell of a lot worse things to be spending your money on, like crack. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out more videos. I'll see you in the next one.